Hello. Uh, finally, my system uh, consisting of a tiny tank and the uh, ice cream CD uh, goes up to the frequency counter. Now the PB2 of AT tiny tank is set up as a clock input for the internal timer. It's not main clock. It's a, in, a clock uh, generate um, clock terminal of our internal timers, and uh, we can uh, easily set up a uh, frequency counter. Now let's see how it works. Now switch on. We're showing. Now the clock is zero megahertz, and uh, I'd like to connect the frequency uh, frequency generator signal generator to these terminals. Currently, now is zero. So I'd like to add, uh, for example, let's starting from the five hundred kilohertz. Let's switch on. You see. Of course, it is not so uh, high precision, but it counting the 500 kilohertz, 0 0.5 megahertz. Now, let's set up as one megahertz. Megahertz. Let's see. Yeah, it goes to one megahertz. You see, now it's uh, showing the one megahertz. And also the setup is uh, for the megahertz. Let's stop. Of course, uh, the real waveform is like this. Uh, it is ge uh, surely generated. And let's stop. And uh, for example, let's change 1500 kilohertz. 1.5 kilohertz. Yeah, it is surely counting. So now this is super simple frequency counter actually the total cost is very low and the main controller main uh, microcontroller is just 80 tiny 10 some people say this is a half brain or a dead brain microcontroller but i don't think that it's a full of function have fun